Who are you? Grace Nakamura. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. We have more of Gabriel Knight the second. I think we pretty much explored all this, so let's start going through the museum. I... Uh, we did see this, right? She's beautiful. One of Ludwig's few close friends was Empress Elizabeth of Austria. She was a distant cousin of the boy prince, and he saw her often growing up. Graceful and beautiful, Elizabeth seemed to represent the feminine ideal to the younger Ludwig. Their friendship continued after her marriage, mainly by correspondence. She remained a source of stability for Ludwig throughout his life. In keeping with Ludwig's love of romance and drama, he called her the Dove, and he to her was the Eagle. I can't remember if we read that or not, but regardless. I want to make sure we... Ludwig is Prince Charming. He played the part well. Uh, that's Prince Charming. Okay. Apparently this is what I'm doing wrong with the ladies. Alright. Oh wow, there is... there is a lot... Ludwig's Grand Master Wardrobe from the Knights of St. George. Looks like it weighs a ton. He looks so regal. Why would he give up all of this pageantry and become a recluse? Ludwig is Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. The Knights of St. George was an aristocratic society dedicated to the acts of chivalry. Ludwig loved the medieval pageantry of the order in his early years before his increasing reclusiveness drove him to abandon public appearances. Bet she became a werewolf. Ludwig, Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. There's got to be a connection between all this St. George stuff and Gabriel. Okay. Oh, wow. I wonder if these pins have any symbolic meaning. I wonder if these... I wonder if... I wonder... I wonder if... Alright, well, let's listen. Signets and sash pins from the Order of the Knights of St. George. These were worn on Ludwig's uniform, as befitted his rank of Grand Master. They are now the property of the Bavarian Crown Treasury. Okay... Uh... Oh, is there something here behind me? Yes. Ludwig's diary. Ludwig kept a diary from 1869 Sorry. when he was 24 years old until his death. The diary provides a fascinating look into the mind of this tormented man. The original diary is kept in the Royal Archives. A few entries are shown on the opposite wall. I've got to see that diary. <gasps> so excited. <laughs> Richard Wagner. I know Richard Wagner. Well, at least the name. Obviously, I don't know him personally. I might, though. Ludwig and Wagner. Ludwig loved the opera of his contemporary, Richard Wagner. He helped support Wagner's music through much of his life. Ludwig considered Wagner a close friend, often calling him the Great Friend. Wagner encouraged this infatuation, some believe, for personal gain. Tip oh, Ludwig and <sighs> Wagner. Ludwig loved the opera the of his now, contemporary Richard you Wagner. Never know what's gonna actually he helped be. support Wagner's music through much of his life. Ludwig considered Wagner a close friend, often calling him the great friend. Wagner encouraged this infatuation, some believe, for personal gain. Okay, now you're not going to say it. All right, well, thanks. Uh, is there something on the picture? No. All right. I want to make sure that I am getting everything. Even after Wagner's death, Ludwig still showed signs of obsession with the composer. This letter, written in 1882 by Ludwig to the conductor of the Munich Opera, instructs the conductor to make preparations for a new Wagner opera. The conductor went to see the king as instructed. 
When he arrived, Ludwig was ill and refused to see him. Nothing further was ever heard of this mysterious new opera. Was it a figment of an ill man's desperate wishes? Hmm. Ludwig is offered a crown of laurels by the genius of immortal fame. Ludwig is offered... 26 July, 1874. By the power of the lily, we shall have the strength to resist all temptations throughout the whole year. Powerful lily. 26 July, 1875. Solemn oath before the picture of the great king. Refrain for three months from all excitement. This oath has its binding power as well as its potency by De Par Le Roy, LNR, DPLR. What excitement? I need to see more of that diary. <laughs> All right, well, just count your britches. Was that it? Oh no. All right, great. As long as we still have a lot more to look at. June 7th, 1886. A group of men arrive at Neuschwanstein Castle demanding to take the king in custody. With them is Dr. Gudin, the doctor who had been in charge of Otto, the king's mentally ill brother. The men have an order for the king's arrest on the grounds of insanity. They are refused admittance by a brave group of farmers and local soldiers who have come to Ludwig's aid. They are forced to retreat to nearby Hohenschwangau, this is the first Ludwig hears of the conspiracy. Ludwig composes a pamphlet explaining the subversive acts of the conspirators and eloquently pleading with his people for aid. The pamphlet is smuggled out of Neuschwanstein and printed, but the pamphlets are seized before they can be distributed. Look at that smug guy. June 7th, Ludwig composes. We got it, thank you. The last days. June 12th, 1886. Ludwig knows the conspirators will return. He despairs. He asks his servant for the keys to the tower. The servant, fearing the king intends suicide, says the key is lost. Unbeknownst to Ludwig, the conspirators arrive at the castle. This time, there is no one to stop them. Oh, Ludwig geez. is lured from his bedroom to the entry Sorry. hall of Neuschwanstein on pretense. There, he is taken into custody. Ludwig is taken by carriage from Neuschwanstein to Berg, where his brother Otto had long been imprisoned. This is a great blow to the king's state of mind. While on the way, the group stops at Sieshaupt to change horses. Ludwig asks to see the postmistress, Frau Vogel. She brings him a glass of water and he says something to her. She never reveals these last words to anyone. Sorry, text message. June 13th, 1886. At Berg, Ludwig seems cooperative and coherent. Dr. Gudin writes to the government that he has Ludwig well under control. The two men go out for a walk, and Dr. Gudin is so confident he dismisses the guards. When Ludwig and the doctor do not return after several hours, a search is undertaken. The bodies of the two men are found in the lake, drowned. Circumstances unknown. Oh boy. June 18th, 1886. Ludwig's funeral procession marches through the streets of Munich, followed by enormous crowds of mourners. The service is held at a packed St. Michael's church. Lightning strikes the church during the service, but no one is harmed. Ludwig's body is entombed in the Wittelsbach crypt at St. Michael's. His heart is placed in an urn in the pilgrimage chapel at Altading in the Wittelsbach tradition. The urn is shown to the right. His heart is in an urn. How bizarre. June 18th. Lud I have no idea what that says. Looks old, though. I have no idea what... Like oh the my dream. god. That's the sleigh for my dream. <gasps> we 
got to learn about it. The Midnight Sleigh Rides. Ludwig went on long sleigh rides in the middle of the night, particularly in his later years. It is said that he suffered from insomnia, headaches, and toothaches, and the rides soothed his restlessness. The sight of the king's grand sleigh speeding through the countryside of the Alps often startled the peasants and became a superstitious omen of ill fortune. I can see why. But what was he doing out there at night? Maybe Mrs. Smith will know what my dream meant. I have to ask someone. This thing is getting too weird. Ludwig embarking on his sleigh. Maybe Mrs. Smith will know. Ludwig's death mask. Wow. Wow. Uh. Alright, I think that's all this side then. You still gotta get... Did I go... Okay, that's that way. What's this way? That's this stuff. Is this really all we have for Ludwig? Really wasn't a lot. Hello! Guten Tag. Yes. Guten Tag. <laughs> Ludwig's Tagebuch. In museum? Ja. Wo kann ich Ludwig's Tagebuch hier anschauen? Die Tagebücher sind ganz persönlich. Die sind in den königlichen Archiven. Niemand darf die lesen. Aber nein, niemand darf die lesen. Danke. <laughs> What? I think das die lesen means that no, get out of here. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Im Museum es einen Brief von Ludwig über eine neue Wagneropa. Ja, ja, ich kenne diesen Brief. Wo kann ich äh, mehr von dieser Wagneropa sehen? Ja, ich weiß nichts über Wagner. Das hier ist kein Wagner Museum. Ja, ich weiß. In Bayreuth befindet sich ein Wagner Museum. Versuchen Sie es halt doch, ne? Bayreuth. Danke. Danke. Yeah, yeah we're okay now. <laughs> Alright, let me just make sure there's nothing else. I don't have anything to say to her. Alright, well, I think we've got everything here at least. Um... That's the museum there, that's the... that's Rittersburg. That's the town, and that's our... castle? I think it is. I want to go back and talk to Mrs. Smith. Oh wait, no, maybe this is the castle. This is probably the castle. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. This, this is... That should probably be its own video. Um, so what was this? Just driving all over. Oh, boy. hello. Grüß Gott. Guten Tag. Ist das die Wagner Museum? Ja. You're an American, aren't you? I'm afraid the house is closed this time of year. It will be open next month. Crap. <laughs> you are interested in Wagner? Very interested. Very recently very interested. Oh boy. Sure. Most of the house is closed for cleaning, but uh, a few rooms are open. <gasps> Maybe this I one shouldn't in the let back. you probably, but uh, if it is only you, you are alone, aren't you? Endlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Come in and look off. That's very generous. Um, what do I owe you? Georg. Georg Immerding. Oh, it's only a few displays. Besides, I wouldn't be much of a um, shining knight if I charge you. 
Thanks, Georg. <laughs> My name is Grace. Hello. Have a good time. It's funny, they used that exact same scene for the uh, Gabriel Knight 2 porno that was thrown off, and uh, amazingly did not do all that well. Richard Wagner. That is a hell of a look. That, no, look at her. Franz Liszt. Oops. Franz Liszt, composer and Cosima Wagner's father. That was a guy. Wagner's piano. On this piano, the maestro composed his later operas, including The Ring. Is this where Tolkien stole all of his ideas from? No, no, I'm, I'm kidding before a Tolkien fan attacks me. Oh god, there, this isn't just like a few rooms. Well, is this the exit? Yes, okay. I gotcha. Wagner souvenirs. Don't think I need any of those. Wagner souvenirs. Can we flirt a little more? You know what? Let me, uh... I'll, I'll go back to you once I, I explore a bit more around here, okay? No, no, no! Shit. Do So, that's the way out. This has to be the way into the museum. Yes, okay. Well, let's just start making our way around it. An old sofa. The Death of Wagner On Ash Wednesday, 1883, Wagner suffered a heart attack in a Venetian gondola on the way to San Michel. His wife and the gondolier carried him into a church where he regained consciousness. Wagner died four days later on this sofa. Oh. Okay. So there's that up there. Wagner's death mask. Wagner's hand. Frostbitten. Can't look at that. Okay. The great patron himself. Ludwig as the classical Greek hero. Portrait given as a gift from Ludwig to Wagner. Can we take a better look at it? I guess not. June 10th, 1881, Munich residence. Great friend, I am writing to you in the middle of the night. My blood is pounding too wildly for sleep. Tonight's performance, how can I describe it? I am unsure whether to be terrified or thrilled. Perhaps I even feel hopeful? If it is hope, you have given it to me, my friend, for the first time in years. We must speak. Something happened during the music tonight, but I must have your absolute confidence. As you love me, come at once. Your devoted king, Ludwig. Okay. July 1882. Great and beloved king, Monsieur Beaujolais and I have finished the diagram. We check the figures many times, and Monsieur is confident that it will work. Eight identical fixtures are to be made from the diagram and placed in the theater exactly as specified. I'm sending the diagram with your courier. Be full of hope and have courage. All will be well. Your own, Wagner. Okay. Can't look at that. Oh, and this is... These look like production designs. These look like production designs. These look like produ These look like This must be a model of Wagner's own theater here in Bayreuth. Okay. Opera costumes. Opera costumes. I'm trying to think 
think if I've ever sung any... I don't think I have. Under Wagner. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here if the museum is closed? They always like to have a caretaker here. It's a good job for me. I can uh, soak in the atmosphere of the maestro while I compose. What are you composing? This? Oh, a new arrangement. One of Wagner's pieces. For the Beirut Opera? <laughs> no, no, no. I am only a student uh, at the university. I study music, uh, composition, conducting. Uh huh. I know enough about art students to know exactly where this conversation is going. Is there much of a call for conductors in Europe? Ask my brother. He is the conductor for the Munich Opera. Well, that's convenient. Does that mean you get free opera tickets? Yes. I get a week's pass to the Opernfestspiele, the uh, opera festival in Munich. It starts in a few months. Hope I'm still around to see it. Come with me if you like. <laughs> if you're still around, I can go backstage and... Uh, all sorts of things. I'd love that. If I'm still in Germany, I'll call you, all right? Yeah, good. <laughs> I'd love that. Tell me about Wagner. <laughs> he was a character. He spent most of his life trying to convince rich patrons to subsidize his work. Unfortunately, he had expensive tastes. You see, he believed that someone of his genius deserved to live well. Can't argue with that. But Ludwig II Sorry. supported him, didn't he? Yeah, sure, but Ludwig came along very late in Wagner's life. By then, he had already been run out of Venice and uh, yeah, most major cities because of death. Ludwig saved him. And the music. Best thing Ludwig ever did. Wagner's letter. Do you know anything about that letter from Wagner to Ludwig in the display case? The one about the diagram? Ah, no. <laughs> Some sort of equipment for Ludwig's theater. But I don't know why Wagner would have cared about this. If he was worried about any theater, you would think it would have been his own theater here, in Bayreuth. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about the letter that Ludwig wrote to the Munich conductor in 1882 telling him to prepare for a new Wagner opera? You're full of surprises. Oh. What do you know about it? No one knows anything about it. It's like a treasure map, you know? That was probably a complete fairy tale, but uh, it does make you wonder. You have no idea what it could have referred to? Maybe something that Wagner was working on with Ludwig? If there was, there's no trace of it. Except perhaps in the dreams of unemployed music students. Hmm. I don't have anything to ask Georg about at the moment. All right, folks. Well, I believe this is the end of our video now. So as always, thanks for watching. Tune to the next. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, you know what? I want to save, too. But you don't need to see that. So, see you then, folks.